An interesting new report by the American Academy of Pediatrics argues abusive words can be just as harmful as physically hitting a child. Barpaniasik explains how. Bumps and bruises aren't the only things that parents have to watch out for when it comes to their children. The study points out that kids who are persistently abused will suffer the effects psychologically. If you're told you're a loser and you're not going to be able to do anything, or you're, you have negative uh, messages about body image, uh, negative image, uh, images about personality, well, pretty soon you start believing that you're that you uh, that you're you're not attractive or that you're not competent, those kinds of things. But there is something parents can do to fight the verbal bullying. Uh, the research on resilience tells us that uh, uh, probably the messages, a positive message from one significant adult can do a lot to turn around the effects of, uh, of negative comments and social ridicule from, from peers. Some local parents share their own tips on how they help their children. The communication is wide open with the kids. I make sure that, uh, you know, there's nothing that they can't tell me and uh, I keep in good contact with everything to make sure that all aspects of their life are, you know, nobody's trying to take advantage of them in any way. Just treated them with respect and dignity, you know, and honesty. You know, you don't got to yell at people to make a point. Wilhelm advises parents to stay aware of what's going on in their child's life. Yeah, I think number one thing is be aware of the uh, um, uh, how your your child is spending their time, what kind of messages they're getting through so, through social media, and then and then just observing the signs if there's if there's actually face to face bullying or relational problems going on at school. Bart Pediasek, Newcap News. The SPCA is offering a great deal for prospective pet owners. Jennifer and Brittany tell us all about it on this week's Pet Projects. Today on Pet Project, we're featuring a pair of dogs. Can you tell me a little bit more about them? Yeah, this is uh, Nikki that I have here, and you have Nibbler. Um, they're quite an interesting pair. They were brought in together as strays. Um, they've been with us since July 3rd. Nibbler is a two-year-old Shih Tzu cross. He's neutered and microchipped. He's had his first vaccine, but we'll need a second and rabies vaccination. He has a great personality. He gets along really well with dogs, um, but he's a little too focused on cats, so probably not a good home uh, to go with cats. He has a fair amount of energy, and he really enjoys getting out for his walk, so a family that could keep up with him would be great. And Nikki is a three-year-old Shepherd Cross. She's had her first vaccine, but we'll need a second and a rabies vaccination as well. She will also need to be spayed. Yes, yeah, so for anybody that's interested in uh, adopting the two of these guys together, if they are able to cover the cost of her spay, then you can adopt two for the price of one. Uh, Nikki is a really smart go girl. She knows some basic commands and listens really, really well. Um, she really likes talking to people and has a cute howl when, when she really gets going. It's, uh, it's funny to hear her do that. So if you're interested in this adorable pair, come down to the SPCA for a meet and greet. The Pet Project is sponsored by Quick Pick Waste Disposal. Locally owned and operated and serving urban, rural and industrial customers in Lloydminster and region.